All right, I won't lie to you, friends. There are indeed times where I find myself staring at what we have done to our wobble dogs and, you know, coming back here with fresh eyes after I've had a chance to go ahead and wash my lab coat, sort of stretch my legs and pop back in after being occupied with other adventures and ticky tocky tears of the kingdoms and, uh, you know, getting ready for all those horses that we apparently have. Why am I over here now? Who's doing what? Who's do oh! What is this lily spot? <laughs> oh my gosh, why are you both laying capsules suddenly? So suitable has gone ahead and laid <gasps> the driftwood. And meanwhile, lily spot over here just had a little ceramic pot. You guys. Okay, well, clearly the wobble puppies are not going to let me go ahead and ponder too deeply the um dubious ethics of our entire wobble dog experience that i was about to say you know coming back in here with a pair of fresh eyes you sort of stare at this and you go what did i do why did i do it was that really like an ethical thing to do <laughs> see if we if we spent all of our time actually paying attention to the ethics of what we do in wobble dogs we would never get any wobbly doggy doggedness done uh, so let's not go ahead and dwell on that and instead friends let me go ahead and yeah i hate it when i forget that that's not the one i'm looking for Ooh, focal length Ooh, ooh. okay my husband and i like Ch chips got me a macro lens for my birthday huh high res of course there that's better but chips got me a macro lens for my birthday and now i know all about like confusing things like focal length and we'll talk about that another time but the moral of the story being we're not going to think about the moral of the story instead we are going to carry on with a new wobble dogs update what the heck what the heck i have barely barely been able to get my little wobbly dogs tiny little jaws wrapped around the idea that we had some fun christmas updates i have only recently learned after all of this time that there are a lot of other den types that we have not yet gotten we are still trying to work on gaining some of those achievements like having a dog born who you know well hatched really who's missing its front left leg and also you know, probably all their legs, and that's how they get the achievement worm, most likely. Uh, so yes, we are still working on uh, all of those projects, as well as enjoying the evolution of the Celery line! Celery the 12th. I need to get you up to Celery the freaking... Uh, oh, oh, is that an egg? <gasps> that's a green dog egg! Why was that dog egg green? I love it! If our celery dogs are laying green eggs, that makes me very happy. Uh, though it does make me wonder if I need to make some jokes about green eggs and ham sandwiches. Uh, I might need to get some of the ham sammies out for the puppies to eat. They do look so cute when their little noses droop from the- the Ooh, mint seed! They do look so cute when their little noses droop from eating all of the ham sammies. Uh, oh my gosh. And then who else is also puppy eating? Dragon fruit! Dragon fruit! Mm! Oh my gosh, I don't know if we're gonna be in time. Phew. It's actually such a challenge now that they go ahead and they puppate themselves <laughs> to try to keep up with all of it. Dragon fruit, look at you! <gasps> wow, you look so cool. Did you change much in between like all of your, your other ages? Where'd you go, dragon fruit? Now you're a young adult. Can I go ahead and can I take a little wee peeksy at you? Yeah, look, we got so much more purple. I really like that. And I really love how Dragon Fruit is like living up to the Dragon Fruit name. I think they're going to have some really, really, really amazing pups. Uh, but I'm getting sidetracked from, you know, the news of the update. <laughs> So there has actually been a new Wobble Dogs update that has arrived, which was such a delightful surprise because the development of Wobble Dogs is basically finished. And I was really like sad because I I would I would absolutely do Wobble Dogs DLC. I don't know about you guys, but I'd be right there. I'd be on top of it. I'd be ready to go. Uh, and so I thought there was not going to be any more, but there's more. And now my friends, our Wobble Dogs can swim! There is actually an aquatic DLC, or not DLC, I should say, but an aquatic like update 
so that we can actually come over and we can make a room that's kind of themed like undersea like it like as though your wobble dogs were inside of an aquarium which i think is ridiculously adorable however as usual we're going to need to have only the most wonderful of our wobbly wobble dogs dig up those treasures so that we can go ahead and make these guys have a really beautiful like aquarium they can go in and I love the idea of having our lily pad lineage do that. I wanted to make some lily pad dogs and I wanted to make some busy beaver dogs who could go ahead and dig up the new den builds. So those are both perfect things to put underwater, right? And that is why we just unlocked a couple new things. Also, I don't know when I got some of these decorations. Good job, puppies. <laughs> I forgot about the burned out car. <laughs> That, that actually reminds me of like, it looks really dire, but maybe it's the burned out kind of car that, you know, Carby, AKA Kirby um, from the Forgotten Land. Maybe it's just that kind of cute apocalypse. And clearly not like the apocalypse that has happened, say in like Adventure Time, where we can expect all of the uh, reasons for our wobble dogs to look the way they do to be related to radiation. I'm sure that's not what that burned out car right next to a slime barrel that possibly our dogs are trying to drink from. Um, I'm sure that's not what that means. <laughs> But we also have a scarecrow, we have a pumpkin luminary, we have a cauldron, we have a ghost on a stick, we have a decorative spider and a coffin. I think all of those things are things our wobble dogs have actually opened up since we popped in here. And now we have a little ceramic pot! Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I wish I could stick a- wait, can I stick a- oh my gosh. Okay, we- we- for, for the sake of science. For the sake of science, I might need to do something with that in just a second, but we'll put down the driftwood pieces. Just a couple, you know, just to just to start livening things up in here. Uh, and then, you know, just for completely, completely scientific studies only reasons and not Siri being a little bit naughty reasons, I might be coming over here. <clears throat> and we might be, uh, hey, hey, Cubit. Cubit, Cubit, come here, come here, my little pixel puppy. Can I? Stick the puppy in the pot. Not at that angle, but while all four of his little heads sleep. Okay, Cubit, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Is this like when you secretly like put a, a hat on your cat or something and you know your cat's gonna hate it and you don't tell anybody because you just wanna see what the kitty looks like with the hat? All right, curses. It doesn't look like we can actually get that barrel or get the pot to a size where the puppy can slip inside of it, but that would be really cute. But this pot is representative of some of the new items that our puppies can actually find uh, now that they can go ahead and they can actually like dig up new aquatic items. And I want to have some of our pups actually be able to have their undersea aquarium. That is going to be one of our current goals among many you know like getting wings on the pixel puppies and keeping that lineage going uh on chicka don't on preventing these guys also from breeding without without my permission i could turn off the auto breeder but why would i do that clearly we want to have a little more fun than that pondweed are you okay that's right and we were trying to set it up so <gasps> pondweed you are not okay we were trying to set it up so pondweed and pondweed's offspring would be able to go ahead and they would be able to um become Ooh, I'm sorry pondweed oh my gosh pondweed I'm so sorry whoa check it don't you just changed quite a bit my friend let me give you some pets uh and then let me go ahead and give pondweed some pets because I'm a little worried that they have not been feeling their best pondweed you're already an adult strawberry lily you're adorable let me clean that up real quick clean up and then I think we were trying to get all of these puppers to go ahead and become flatter because this is supposed to be the lily pad lineage in here. Uh, and then Pixie Dust. I don't know why you're trying to starve yourself. Like, I'm a little worried about that. So I'm going to just zip you out so that maybe... Do you want to... Oh, dear. Okay, good. <laughs> now we have the emergency raisin supplies have been activated. And then also Lily Spot, I don't think you're supposed to be in here. Aren't you supposed to be with like the other dogs elsewhere? 
I'm pretty sure Lily Spot's not supposed to be in here, and Lily Spot just kept finding their way in somehow. Oh, and Strawberry Lily! Now you've gone ahead and you have changed too! You are now a teen. And then Chicka Don't. I was about to say, maybe we'll have Chicka Don't, who isn't supposed <gasps> Who unlocked the Moss Ball? Who did it? Where? Why? How? I wanna I wanna praise you! I wanna give you all of the all of the pets. Was it one of our celeries? I think it may have been one of our celeries, because they have the slightly stunned look of a puppy who just like laid a gigantic freaking like capsule that popped open. <gasps> but the moss ball! How exciting! Okay, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm pretty sure it was our celery lineage that did it. <gasps> the ball form of moss. Ideal. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The only thing that could make this moss ball better is if our puppies could actually play with it. They're green. They're green plants that are moss. It's like all of my favorite things in the world. Oh my goodness. All put together for our wobble pups. Of course I'm gonna love these things. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. I think we have a f enough of the moss balls for just a second. But let's see. Celery, you're still doing well. Cubelet, you doing well is, like I said, we're not digging into those dubious ethics, but maybe we'll be able to find a puppy who can at least dig. Pixie Dust, are you okay? Do you like have your, okay, you seem to have gotten your tails stuck inside of your wings and I don't think that's helping you. Also, what happened to your legs? I mean, I probably am responsible for whatever happened to your legs, but I, I, oh dear. Well, here, pixie dust. Here, okay, you wanna eat that? Okay, good job, good job, I'm proud of you. Maybe if we teach pixie dust to fly, maybe that would actually help out. Cause they are kind of twisted in all sorts of directions. Pixie dust, is there some way I can like, I can help you? Can I, oop, oop, oop. okay, that was not gonna be helpful, but maybe it helped. Is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. I think it's just because of their legs. Look. But wait, how many? Do you have three front legs? Hold up. Do you have three front legs or are you just that tangled? Oh my gosh. This is like a Gorgon's knot, but it's like a Gorgon's knot of puppy legs. How can I help you? Um, Maybe if you fly? Would that help? Yeah, your back leg is stuck on your front leg. If I gently but firmly drag you across this tree stump, will that get your legs in the right direction? Your 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 back leg there, wait, is that your back leg? Do you have multiple, like, hold up here. I think Pixie just, we gotta get a good look at them. Cubelet, yay! Wait, 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 come back. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's cute. yeah. Okay, so, um, wait, Pixie Dust, hang on. Do you actually, are you actually, like, three-legged in the front? No, this is the way Pixie Dust's legs are supposed to look, and they're just very tangled, and I feel somewhat badly about that. Oh, dear. Well, hang in there, Pixie Dust. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, oh, suitable. <laughs> Suitable, why are you always on the edge of death? Why are you always, like, just moments away from disaster? Here, get up here, and then why don't you just go ahead and eat some of these, please? Suitable, there you go. I I, I have been trying to go ahead and take good care of these dogs since we, we got them. Uh, and then I love how Strawberry Lily is turning out. You know what, Strawberry Lily? You're probably one of the perfect pups to go ahead and help us out with our project. Because you've got legs that aren't doing... What? No, you want to do that? Come on. Yeah! See? You want to dig up a new aquatic world for us? You want to dig up a new, a new amazing item that's going to, like, transform this place? I wonder if there's, like... <gasps> Ooh! Capsule! <gasps> Starfish! That's so cool! Good job, Pondweed! I'll go ahead and maybe, like, have you have a puppy, like, next time, because you definitely have earned it. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that. Strawberry Lily, I'm so proud of you. Why don't you eat this donut? Especially. Like, we'll especially feed them the donut for having helped out with digging. Do you want to dig again? Right here? 
Maybe find the new... Yeah? Come on, come on. Yeah, you want to dig, right? Yeah, dig, 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 dig. Not in the flowers, but dig, 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 dig. You can do it. Come on. Okay, okay. I think we're I think we're thinking about it. <gasps> yes! I said not in the flowers, but you know what? I'm going to take it. All right, dig, 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 dig. Dig up those new treasures. Okay, I actually really, I love the way that Strawberry Lily is just like throwing themselves into it to find these new aquatic treasures. So of course we're gonna go ahead and just have a little picture of that real quick. There we go. And no capsule. Curses. Uh, all right. Well, that that may be a work in progress that we're going to need to go ahead and put a little bit of effort into. And it does look like I need to be getting a little bit more. Are there any dog eggs out here? Good. No dog eggs out there. I have to stay on top of that. You never know. You never know when the puppies are going to try to have more puppies without without your say so. I'm going to store the pupae. I'm going to store the eggs that are fertilized and ready to go. I'm going to store the teeth. And then I think everything else is okay to be out right now. Ah, there is actually a ham slider. Green eggs and ham sliders. <laughs> But I think we just need to kind of wait until a few more of the dogs become adults to carry on with some of our challenges, like missing legs, um, like being able to go ahead and see where the celery line is going to take us. Are you stuck, Celery the, uh, the 12th? All right, you are stuck. Here, why don't you come over here, my friend, and focus on eating all these bananas. And then we might even try doing some just miscellaneous breeding next time. Uh, and then maybe see if we can have a really good, strong digger dog. I wonder if the celeries might actually be good for that. Hey, Mincid! <laughs> but there are some really fun... In fact, let's put, it, let's put it in the... Oh, yes, 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 yes. I can't believe I almost forgot. Uh, let's actually put in... Jeez, where is Mincid? Like over here? No, I have no idea where Mincid has run off to. Uh, but we can go ahead and... Starfish! Look at how cool the starfish are! Yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be quite fun, and we are doing, going to have just such a delightful time going ahead and uh, making a new underwater world for our wobble puppies! I'm trying to make ones that uh, that look like clownfish or things like that. Ah, Lily Spot! Okay, okay. Lily Spot! Ah, Pondweed! Okay, and we're gonna... No! No, 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 no! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, and uh, I will meet you guys back here next time for some frantic last minute breeding with our puppies! No! <laughs> oh, they, they go by way too fast. Just when we're finally getting our dogs their little aquatic paradise. Come on, Lily, Pond, these two are made for the water. <sighs> We'll have to make sure that at least they leave behind a generation that can enjoy diving in, even if they won't be here with us. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this, as usual, chaotic adventure in Wobble Dogs. Again, let's make sure that we keep the ethics review board away, and I will meet you guys back here for more chaos next time. Bye bye